All right, y'all. Welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place. How y'all doing? Well, y'all, we're here in Townsend, Tennessee at Jim Bob's Barbecue. That's the little place we seen uh, when we drove by yesterday, and uh, we decided to stop here, and uh, Tasha went in to buy a barbecue sandwich. We've already ate supper tonight. We was over in Pigeon Forge over there, and uh, so we just stopped over there and ate some uh, pie pies chicken, and so we're not really hungry, and I told her, you know, before we left, we wanted to try this out. So she went in there to buy a bar bar barbecue sandwich there, and so we're gonna make a little video of that, see what we think about it, give her opinion about it, and um, Tasha, she's been in a little while there, so we're gonna wait on her to come out, and uh, let me see here. I believe she's coming out right now, actually. That's her right there on coming out. Let me see her face. Yep. Yep, we caught her on camera there. I caught you on camera, Tasha. Yeah. Yeah, I was telling about us trying this app. We're gonna try it out, take the cabin no. And uh hopefully it's gonna be good. Well, is somebody smoking out there? I don't know. They could be. I know if everybody comes out of there and starts smoking, so I don't know. I don't know if the blood pressure's up or. <laughs> and I, I had a little kid out there uh, inside, had his head against the window, banging his head up. But he looked about 14 years old, banging his head against the window and stuff. And I don't know. I said, man, <laughs> I don't, what's going on in there? So, what's your opinion so far? Uh, I know it took at least 30 minutes. Yeah, that's what I, we was just talking about. I was talking to a lady in there from uh, Indiana, and then there was another older couple that sat across from us. They was from Indiana, too, and I was like, man, they said 15 minutes, but I've been sitting here for at least 30 minutes. So, All right, well, yeah. well, we're fixing to head back to the cabin, so when we get there, we'll, we'll try this out and, and give y'all our opinion of what we think about it. All right, y'all, we're back here at the cabin, and... Uh, Fix and open it up. We haven't looked at it. See what this looks like. So uh, what we got here is some uh, French fries and a barbecue. And uh, it's like a jumbo bun to me, Tasha. That's what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna let her have this. And uh, first of all, I'm gonna. I want to taste the meat. First of all, I want to see how much meat is on it. See, see what, what we got there. No bite of this meat here. Now you want to taste it? How about you, Summer? All right. Now, uh, go ahead and put a little sauce on it there. Well, that's good. I don't want no more on it than that. See these french fries here. That's what they taste like. And french fry bubble? Go and taste some. I know y'all don't eat supper, but. All right. All right, got quartered up. <laughs> I mean, what do you think, Tasha? Give me onion spin. It's not nothing special about it. All it's, right. a, it's a little dry. Don't have a whole lot of flavor to it. All right. How about you, Summer? Mm. It's okay. It's okay. It's, yeah. It's nothing great. All right. It's got a smoky flavor to it. How about you, Bubba? Mm. It's good. You like it? Okay, everybody's wondering about my opinion now, probably, ain't you, Tasha? All right? 
Uh, I'm pretty critical of food. So I don't know if y'all can see me over here. Kind of dark on this side. What I'm about y'all. So take another bite here. All right, y'all. Uh, let's see. I'll probably rate this. I, I like rating things at a, a scale of one to ten, y'all. I probably rate this a four to a five on a scale of ten. That's that's my opinion. So it's not that great, y'all. Um, I definitely wouldn't go back there and. Uh, try to you know eat another one now we could have got a, a one that's been you no know, dried out or whatever you know but like she said it's uh it's not moist at all it's really dry and it's got a little smoky flavor to it but other than that it it, it don't have t that much flavor to it you know uh and the french fries let me see they're just french fries y'all <laughs> Nothing special about French fries. Now, I bet some of you got some good French fries, though. They probably put some good seasoning. These just regular crinkle cut French fries. Okay. So now, let's go. So we went in there, and I, I know I know it takes time, y'all, to, to get things done a lot of times, you know, depending on how many people's in there and everything. Um, but when she went in there, um, was it real busy when we went there? What's your opinion? Well, you couldn't really see how many people were sitting there because it was like divided off in sections. Um, so I didn't really see a bunch of people in there. Yeah. Well, anyway, y'all, it took 30 minutes, well, over 30 minutes, 30 minutes to make her order and get her food. I thought that was a little bit lengthy there just for you no know, one barbecue uh, sandwich plate there. And um, let me see, what else we can include in this? Um, it doesn't come with slaw. It, it, if, if you're going to add slaw, it'd be extra, you know, cost for the slaw. And uh, so we got the, the barbecue sandwich, the french fries, and a little thing of uh, barbecue sauce here. And it was, uh, how much did it cost? The total tax and everything was sixteen ninety seven. Sixteen ninety seven, y'all. When she told me that, I about to fell out of my, my, you know, good thing I was sitting down, y'all. $16.97. So basically, it would cost, um, man. But if you order drinks and stuff, it, it, it would cost um, over $80 for me, Summer, Tasha, and Austin to eat. Over $80 just uh, for a barbecue sandwich and french fries and a drink. So y'all know about y'all, but that's that's very expensive to us. You can go out and eat a very good meal for that much money, and uh, so I don't know. I'm not gonna eat there no more just because I can't afford it. <laughs> and it's uh, I've ate a lot better barbecue elsewhere. So y'all uh, just want to bring y'all along this little uh, video right here, and uh, so when I get hungry tonight, Tasha. I'm gonna eat me some more Popeye's chicken, which that wasn't real cheap. That that's cost a lot more, y'all, than than it used to. Uh, I don't know if the taxes up here is crazy or what, and the drinks are really high. It seemed like we got a twelve-piece chicken, and um, let's see, you bought one extra breast. Yeah, one extra breast that costs a dollar up charge. So you substituted one piece. Right. So you didn't get an extra piece of chicken. You substituted a piece of chicken for a breast. Right. With a dollar up charge. And how much are our bill there? About $52. $52, y'all. This is in a Pigeon Forge. And uh, I said, man. So y'all wonder why we like cooking at the cabin, you know, when we can. You know, we was out and about. So sometimes, you know, you're on vacation, you know, you splurge a little bit. You don't want to, you know, have to cook here every night. But then again, you know, Depending on how big your family is, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna need to kind of cook for yourself on vacation too. A lot of times, that's why we like you know going to a cabin because it's so expensive when you go out and eat. 
And while we're talking about that, y'all, might as well talk about our old meal restaurant, you know, meal. Now, that was a very good meal, y'all. Uh, to me, like I say, I don't mind splurging on, 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 on a, a good meal, like maybe once, you know, once <laughs> once a year. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I should laugh at that. Once a year, yeah. Um, a lot of people think, I guess a lot of people be like, oh, this just, uh, man, this is an everyday thing for us, you know. It's, oh, my goodness. Not for us. It's like, you know, like, man, I start scratching my head. And like, man, boy. I said, I don't know if I'm going to go and eat no more. <laughs> but uh, how much was our bill at uh, Old Mill Restaurant? It was almost, what, $75? It, it was, yeah, $75, and then we left a tip. So, um, yeah, so it, it adds up. But, uh, like I say, you got a you know, full meal there. You got, you got a good meal and some extras. You, you always have it left over and you'll bring some back with you stuff and, but uh anyway uh, i thought that was i thought that was uh interesting it might be interesting to y'all uh to find out exactly how much uh this barbecue i may 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 maybe i'm just kind of old school i, I don't know because do it yourself or whatever or maybe we're just out of sync with modern day prices. I guess the economy's like drove everything through the roof. That's probably part of it. And uh, I don't know, but uh, I, I just figured a barbecue sandwich, you know, used to cost, you know, maybe eight bucks just for the barbecue sandwich, you know, you know, $6, $6 or $8 at the most, then French fries, no more than $10. But when she told me y'all $16, I was like, uh, I wish you hadn't bought that. I mean, that's what the online prices said, but I guess the price is probably going up. And I told her, I said, y'all, I hope that barbecue tastes real good <laughs> for $16. Well, unfortunately, it didn't. And you remember that time we came down here when we first got married? We came down here and we stopped. We had a catfish place down there. You remember? Oh, yes. I can't remember what name. It don't matter, but I told Tasha... Hey, it was catfish bellies. It had to be cat. You know, that, that, the catfish belly is not a good, you no know, good part of meat. You know, and somebody may love catfish bellies. I don't. I don't like catfish bellies that much. But um, that's what they were serving, and they, and they charged a lot of money, y'all. <laughs> and I said, Toto, I said, well, we won't eat here no more because you know we thought we was gonna get catfish, you know, fillets, and we did get catfish fillets, but we got catfish fillets bellies. Those bellies. And uh, anyway, this is a little bit different video, y'all. <laughs> I, I hope y'all find this video entertaining. It's just I, I've had this camera up in my face too close, probably Tasha. But anyway, y'all, we're going we're gonna to be leaving tomorrow morning. And uh, I'm not sure we, we was recommended a restaurant there in Pigeon Forge. They said they have real, real good breakfast. And before we leave, we might go over there and uh check that out let me get back here tasha i can't see y'all mm -hmm. i've been having y'all in the background i can't see but anyway we're gonna go over there maybe maybe not you know i have count my pennies and nickels to see how much money we got there to see if we can go <laughs> tasha. now i think my mama want me to pick some donuts up <laughs> some crispy cream donuts and bring back home so that's gonna cost a dozen them probably cost 15 dollars <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say about ten, but you're probably about. No, nah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Joe Joe Biden's taking care of us, Tasha. Joe Biden's taking care of us. He he got a few prices going down, and mm -hmm. and he got the economy just booming and everything, you know. So everybody everybody's doing good except the poor man. <laughs> <laughs> We're still counting nickels and dimes. Well, I'm not complaining, y'all. I'm not. I'm not complaining at all. I'm not, and, and, you know, I know everybody got to do what they got to do you know, to make it and everything. So, But anyway, I just want to give an honest opinion, honest review uh, for y'all. Uh, like I say, we normally don't do these kind of videos on food and that kind of stuff. And uh, it just, uh, and it could be, Tasha, that we're not hungry. Think about it. Y'all think about it now. We may not be hungry. And we just might be fat and full right now. Not barbecue sandwiches didn't taste that good. <laughs> You know, 
and that could be it. You know, it just be our our our, our, our taste palates or whatever they call it. Just not there. It's not hungry enough right now to be able to you know appreciate the fine food we have before us right now. It could be something like I don't know. I don't know. But uh, anyway. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all found it entertaining. And uh, I'm not an expert on uh, foodiology and taste tests and everything. And Tasha, she sometimes burn, burn her food at home a little bit. So we're not gonna say she's an expert. Look at Tasha, I'm gonna knock you right. You keep saying that. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the video. And look at my son there. He's tired. He had a rough day. Mm. And uh, he uh, he had a he 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 had such a bad day. I mean, not bad day. He, he's so tired. When 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 we come home, he just fall right asleep, you know. And we got out here, and I said, "Hey, Austin, get up. We're home." And uh, he didn't say he he didn't move. Austin, get up. We're at cabin. Boy, he, he raises his head. He looking then. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway y'all I appreciate y'all coming along and uh, appreciate y'all uh, watching the videos and leave us a comment down below if if y'all think we're crazy if you think that we don't know what good food tastes like and we probably made a mistake leave that comment down below too or if you if you ain't here before give us your opinion about it you know if you had a good experience and the food tastes wonderful, just leave leave a comment down below, you know. Like I say, you know, it could just be us, you know, we just don't know what we're, don't like the way, you know, good food tastes. I don't know. <laughs> but so, before I let you go, I gave y'all a rating, y'all. I gave you a rating of four to a five, I think I said. So that's based about middle of the road. And um, for me, you know, like I say, that's, that's, fairly average on just like food i think just that's just like you know like there you know just like normal tasting it ain't nothing special i said i gave it a four because hey y'all it's a little dry and i can't lie about that but i want them to rate this food on a scale of 110 and don't you rate it because i said a four or five i want you to be honest don't you lie the lord know what you was thinking you too some the lord know what you thinking and you too, Austin. What's your opinion on four on on on, on one ten? What do you, what do you rate this barbecue tonight? I was gonna say a four. I think she copied me, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I've been met here over twenty some twenty two twenty three years now. Twenty three years. Twenty three years fixing B, and uh, she agrees about everything I got to say most of the time. So I don't know. If she telling y'all the truth or not on this. How about you, Summer? Do you tell the truth? You know me and you, you know I say you can trust your daddy and you're going to tell the truth about this, right? Mm -hmm. I told you all to tell the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help you God. I mean, I don't know. I, I ain't going to say that. I don't like saying that. Y'all forgive me. I don't like saying that. that don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do that jury stuff and all that kind of stuff. Like we can go in there and start pledging the, on the Bible and swearing. I'll, I, I'll affirm, but I won't swear. But go ahead, Summer. You, you tell tell me what your opinion is. I was gonna say like a three to a four. Three to four. All right. <laughs> how about you, Bub? What you how you rate? You said it was good. Six. All right. That's say that's my boy. That boy's honest. He like me. We tell the truth. He liked it. He said it's good. He good. <laughs> What you talking about? What you talking about? <laughs> All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And we got, you see right here, we got some left here. I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably really, really dry out now. Yeah, we'll have to heat it up, make it a little bit better. But anyway, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And it's probably way too long. Oh, Tasha's video is 17 minutes long. This is almost as long as the whole video. We're working all day long showing y'all different things we've been doing. But y'all, if y'all like this video, y'all just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs up. I mean, can you see me? Thumbs up. <laughs> and if you don't like it, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and 
you know, we appreciate it and appreciate y'all coming along. And if you don't like it, just keep skipping through it to the end until you find something you do like. And then give me a thumbs up. <laughs> appreciate y'all coming along. And as always, friends, from my family to yours, y'all have a blessed day. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.